Am I audible to all of you guys? Okay, great. So let me share my screen. Uh, is it visible to all of you? Uh, guys, is my screen is visible? Okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> so let's start with the session, guys. Okay, so uh, yesterday, uh, guys, we saw a couple of prompting techniques or methods under the prompt engineering. Uh, right? So we saw uh, one, like one process called CETO process or CETO method, how you can pass the quality prompts. And then we also saw there is a one more technique, which is called as a zero shot, one shot and few shot. And apart from that, we saw a couple of other, uh, you know, hands on with chat CPT. Okay. So up to last session, guys, uh, any doubts or any queries, anyone, or we are good to go. Let me also check with YouTube guys. <laughs> Okay, great. So, uh, Asifa, uh, there is one question, uh, how to registration. So you can, I mean, uh, there is a registration link. Uh, Chandra will provide the registration link in the chat box at the end of session. So you can, uh, you know, follow that link and do the registration for the course, right? <clears throat> okay, guys. So I think we are good to go. Uh, let me share my screen again. Okay, cool. So let's see guys, uh, let's explore a couple of other functionalities of chat GPT and how you can utilize the chat GPT in multiple dimensions. Okay. So uh, one thing guys, you can use the chat GPT for social media, right? So GPT for social media. Now in social media, we have a lot of things. So le let me discuss uh, or let me start with uh, like this. Uh, uh, you, you can create unique content from chat GPT over any of the topic, right? So let's suppose, for example, uh, you are running a business and for that you need some unique content or unique ideas to improve your business. Or let's say you want to, uh, you want to start a business and for that you need some unique content. So in that way, ChatGPT can help you. Uh, let me just show you a couple of uh, examples like this. Uh, let's suppose guys, <laughs> I want to, you know, uh, get a unique content related to my business and my business is something with respect to the fitness, right? So that means with respect to my business, which is related to the fitness part, I want to get some unique content. So for that, I can ask ChatGPT to act as a social media expert. So this is something we are calling as a expert persona. Expert persona. If I talk about the CETO process, right? That is nothing but assigning a role to chat GPT. So here I'm assigning a role to chat GPT like social media expert. So just behave as a social media expert and then give me, uh, let's say I'm looking for a five unique content ideas for my business, which is related to the fitness. So let me just copy and paste it here. Let's see what ChatGPT is responding to me. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, so this is how guys ChatGPT is giving me five unique content ideas for my business related to the fitness. So what are the ideas? If you see here, uh, weekly fitness challenges, that is something I can implement in, in my business that I will, you know, uh, do a weekly fitness challenges kind of a thing. That is something I can start with uh, in my business or uh, behind the scene content, right? So provide a sneak peek into daily lives of your fitness trainers, you know, instructors or even your clients or, uh, you know, uh, like interactive posts and Q&A sessions, client spotlights, you know, themed workout playlist. So all of these things I can, uh, you know, implement in my business as per the requirement. And not only this, you can tune the outcome based upon your specific requirement. Let's say my target audience for the fitness is not the youth, but the old people, right? Uh, just a minute, guys, just give me a minute. Uh, yeah, sorry for the interruption, guys. Uh, yeah. So let's suppose, guys, in this output, my target audience for this, my business, which is related to the fitness, fitness can be, it, it may be some, you know, uh, yoga center or it may be a gym kind of a thing. It can be anything related to the fitness. Let's say my target audience is old people. And for that, I want to, you know, implement some unique ideas. So I can't uh, do like weekly fitness challenges for the old people, right? So I can do some hard exercise for the old people. So in that way, I need some, you know, a modified outcome. So here I can specify who, where is my target audience. So let me copy and paste this here. Okay. So here I'm asking chat GPT. Provide me modified output based upon, you know, my target audience, which is not a youth, but let's say old people and just prioritize the ideas. Okay, let's see. Okay, so probably it is generating the same output let me just modify it oh sorry it's not youth let me just do it again Okay, so uh, this time it is generating the same outcome each and every time. Let me check it once more. <laughs> okay, so probably in this, like uh, at this particular time, it is generating the same outcome. But yeah, in that way, uh, I mean, you can specify uh, the specific requirement and accordingly you can tune the outcome. Apart from that, you can also, you know, uh, generate the, uh, let's say uh, you want to create a YouTube video and for that you need the script, right? So you can also create, uh, you know, YouTube script or uh, any kind of, a, you know, script or text, uh, you know, article, those kind of things with respect to your uh, topic or with respect to your, uh, what you can say, uh, business idea, right? So let's suppose <clears throat> I want to create uh, a script for YouTube channel on a topic called Digital India. Uh, guys, mute, please mute yourself, all of you guys. Okay, so let's suppose guys, I want to create a, a YouTube video on a topic called Digital India. And for that, I need a script. 
so this is something also i can do that uh, i can do with the chat gpt so i can tell chat gpt like let me open a new chat session <laughs> Write a script for my YouTube channel on Digital India. You can provide any of the topic. Let's say my topic is a Digital India. So let's see. So this is how ChatGPT is, uh, you know, generating the outcome. And in this outcome, you can see here, guys. <laughs> So this is how ChatGPT is providing me a script for my YouTube video on Digital India. And if you see, we have a title, Digital India Transforming Tomorrow, right? And then we have an introduction session. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your YouTube channel name, right? And then, uh, you know, uh, welcome message, those kind of a thing. And then we have opening shots. Then, uh, guys, please mute yourself. Okay, uh, let me share it. Okay, then you can see here guys, uh, here it starts the, uh, you know, main content segment one overview of digital India. And it has, you know, a couple of uh, uh, like the starting lines and all. And then a uh, couple of more details like uh, uh, key pillars for digital India like digital infrastructure, digital literacy and all segment two. And then uh, we have a digital literacy, you know, you can provide some examples here also. And segment four is related to e-governance, right? And then likewise, uh, we have a script for my YouTube video. And at the last, we have a closing words, right? And finally, the final thoughts. So in that way, you can directly use this, this kind of a scripts or do little modifications, whatever is needed, like just provide your channel name. And then you can use this script as it is. Right. So let's say my YouTube channel name is, uh, for example, YouTube channel name. Let's say my channel name is, uh, uh, let's say ABC underscore uh info right because please unmute yourself uh, yeah yeah thank you Okay, cool. So, okay, now you can see here, guys. So, since I have mentioned my YouTube channel name, so now we have a modified, uh, you know, outcome from Chat GPT where we have the YouTube channel name in place of the, you know, uh, uh, wherever we have a introduction part or, you know, uh, the main content and all, right? Like this, like this. Even you can also specify like up to how much time uh, you want to create the video. Uh, like let's say you want to create a video for five minutes or 10 minutes or 12 minutes according, accordingly, uh, you know, generate the script. So all of these information you can provide like, uh, let's say the length of the video is 10 minutes and my target audience is working professionals. So we can specify these two, you know, specifications like Let's say the length is, uh, uh, let's say eight minutes and audience is working professionals. So accordingly, it will modify this particular script. <coughs> so this is how, uh, you know, uh, it is modifying the, the script. Or let me just change the uh, my audience. So let's say my audience is uh, 
स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स so now you can see here guys uh, what what scripts we are getting that's related to the you know school students so we have a uh, some basic things related to digital india right so that means uh, like in this way you can generate a unique content for your requirement it may be for your business or it may be for your uh, you know social media platform and apart from that not only this <clears throat> even uh, you can get uh, you know uh, uh, okay so let's suppose uh, you are planning for a trip and for that you need to know what are the packing tips right or let's say you are going for a solo trip or you are a solo traveler and you want to know what are the packing tips so that you can you know take care each and everything over this trip so for that what you can do so here you can mention that uh please provide 50 packing tips before going uh let's say for solo trip or let's just reduce it uh let's say i want to know the 20 packing tips for you know before going for a solo trip <clears throat> so this is how we are uh, getting the outcome from chat gpt like if you are going for a solo trip, uh, please consider these, you know, uh, these points or these tips like the research your destination. You should be, uh, you know, you should be knowing that what is the climate and culture where you are going. Create a checklist. And if I scroll it down, so we have a couple of more things like uh, pack light, you know. That means uh, don't carry the heavy weightage, uh, you know, uh, the luggage. Versatile clothing comfortable shoes weather appropriate gear and all so likewise you can get uh you know uh, the tips for going for a uh, solo trip right so in that way you can create uh you know uh, the content which is useful as per your need so all of these things you can uh, do with the help of chat gpt so this is one aspect <laughs> and apart from that even you can uh, use ChatGPT for different different social media platforms. So, but before using ChatGPT for any of the social media platform, it is very much necessary that you must be knowing what in for what platform you want to use the ChatGPT. For example, if you want to create a bio for let's say Instagram, and you also want to create a bio for LinkedIn. So a bio for Instagram is very much different from a bio for LinkedIn. The reason being, if you want to, you know, create a bio for LinkedIn, so for that, uh, it will be related to your professional life, right? So that bio will contain some, uh, you know, uh, technical details, your educational details, your uh, experience, working experience, right? Those things. But if you're creating a bio for Instagram, that is very much different from what we have a bio for uh, LinkedIn profile, right? So that means if you're using the chat GPT for your social media platform, it is required that you must understand the platform. Right? Let me just show you the difference. So let's suppose I want to create a bio for Instagram as well as for LinkedIn. So let's see how the output differs. Uh, let me create a new chat session. And here I'm asking chat GPT to create a bio for Instagram. <clears throat> okay, so here we have a, you know, a very small bio for my Instagram profile, where, so <clears throat> we have a like celebrating one year of, uh, you can provide your name, you know, adventures, explore, uh, explorer of life, and even you can add a couple of more uh, details like capturing moments, you know, coffee enthusiastic, so all of these things you can uh, do, or you can also add a couple of more things. <clears throat> and if you want to create a bio for LinkedIn, let's see how it looks like. Now you can see here, guys, 
when we are creating a bio for linkedin so what are what are the details are required like professional details transforming ideas to impact like a uh, you know global perspective results driven your current company or current position mba whether you are mba graduate or not although all you can change all of those things right so that means it will require your educational detail as well as your professional details or let me just do it like this uh, <clears throat> make it detailed one <clears throat> So you can see here, guys. So here we are getting some, you know, detailed bio for your LinkedIn profile, where first of all, we have a introduction of uh, yourself, right? So what is your current position, current organization, and, you know, professional industry from which you are belong, your key skills. And then we have a couple of more specific details, like what are my key strengths, like skills, your education, you know, whether you are a speaker or mentor, if you are, then you can provide the details here or uh, let's say innovation and, in, you know, connectivity, all of those things. So let me just uh, put a couple of details here, just some random details. So let's say in the name I'm providing, uh, let's say John and let's say uh, <clears throat> highest qualification, let's say MTech or let's say current organization let's say x y z dot com or let's say uh current role let's say ai engineer And let's also add a couple of more details like skills. So data science, machine learning, let's say deep learning, or let's say AI, R, Python, or let's say all tricks. Or let's add a couple of more just like SQL, you know, or let's say Power BI. And then let's add a project. So the first project is related to, uh, <clears throat> let's say, uh, or detection. Right, and let's say uh, using uh, ML classification model. Let's say we have another project that is the uh, let's say customer segmentation using. SOMs. Okay, uh, so let's suppose, guys, uh, we have a couple of details. So I have just randomly picked, you know, taken a couple of details here. So within this detail, I want to create a LinkedIn bio for me. <clears throat> so you can check here, guys. So this is how ChatGPT is generating the LinkedIn bio based upon whatever details I have provided as a prompt, right? So you can check here, uh, passionate, you know, AI engineer at xyz.com, which is, which I have provided as an organization name. And then, uh, highest, uh, educational qualification I have provided, uh, MTech, all right. So expertise in, uh, data science, machine learning, deep learning, and AI. This were as a skills I have provided. And then, uh, you know, current role xyz.com uh, as a AI engineer. And then highest qualification, MTech. you can also provide the field of study or, uh, you know, specification. 
and then uh, I have just mentioned uh, the project name, like fraud detection using ML classification model and customer segmentation using SOM. So ChatGPT is providing a couple of you know uh, details regarding these projects. So ChatGPT understand what is the ML classification model, what is this fraud detection. So in that way, it is providing a couple of more details, right? And as well as ChatGPT understand what are these SOMs, what is the meaning of customer segmentation. Right. So here it is providing the full form for SOMs like self-organized map. So all of these things ChatGPT can understand. And in that way, it is generating the outcome. Even you can uh, you know uh, tune this output according to your uh, need. So let's suppose I want to make this output or this bio fit in my LinkedIn limits. So uh, limit is in Oh, okay, so just like this. make it in LinkedIn limits so that I can directly copy and paste it. Uh, there won't be any, you know, uh, issue I will get at that time. So, yeah, so this time it is very short. I can directly copy and paste this one, or I can ask ChatGPT to provide some more details. So, that means in that way, you can use ChatGPT for social media platform. Is that clear, guys, what we are doing? Apart from that, guys, you can also build resume. So if you're not sure how to build a resume, you can take a help from ChatGPT. And for that, you need to provide your, uh, you know, the details regard uh, like you, what is your name, like your qualification. And if you're working your current organization name, or if you have, uh, you know, an experienced guy, you can provide the past organization name and whatever projects you were handling or whatever skill set you have accordingly, you can build a resume also. So that is the exercise for you guys. You can try building a resume using chat GPT at your end, right? But yeah, up to this point, guys, uh, things are clear or any doubt or any queries, anyone. Okay, it's clear. So let me also check with the YouTube guys. Uh, guys, all of these, you know, uh, uh, these text files where I'm using, I'm referring as a, you know, a prompt kind of thing. So all of these things will get uploaded over your LMS part. Right. So probably uh, by tomorrow afternoon, uh, whatever things I'm sharing in today's session, all of these things will get uploaded there. Okay, so up to this point, uh, I hope things are very much clear. Let me also show you a couple of more interesting details regarding chat CPT. <clears throat> and that is this part. Just give me a minute, guys. Okay, let me share my screen. Let me just show you guys uh, one very interesting part. Uh, is it visible, guys? Uh, yes or no? Cool. So let's see. Uh, if you see, guys, my chat GPT account. So here I have an option of this microphone and this speaker option can you guys see these two options probably these options are not there in your account as of now right uh not an issue manish yeah so let me tell you guys how you can access these two functionalities in chat gpt and how you can utilize this one 
so let's see uh, first how you can access the speaker and microphone facility in chat gpt so for that guys uh, we have an extension and the name of the extension is voice control voice control extension for chat gpt so just open the google search box guys uh, this google search engine so here just type a uh, voice control extension right you can do it parallelly guys uh, yeah thanks channa so uh one minute yeah so just google it guys a uh, voice control extension this thing and here you will get the first link as voice control for chat gpt okay just open this link this first link voice control for chat gpt and once you open this first link uh, you will get this page let me <clears throat> do like this yeah you will get this page guys where you have a voice control for chat gpt and a uh, parallel you can see here add this extension so in my case it is already added that's why it is showing remove from chrome in your case it will be showing like add add this extension or add to chrome something like that so just click over this option add to chrome or add to uh, add the extension something like that so just add it and allow the permission so it will ask for permission so if it is asking just allow it okay Uh, do let me know once you have done this part, guys. <clears throat> uh, is it done or what? <clears throat> okay, what for rest of the guys? okay great so if it is done just come back to chat gpt account and refresh this page just refresh this page you will get these two options so one is a, a microphone another one is a speaker are you guys getting these two options great so is there anyone who is facing difficulty to add this extension anyone uh let me check with youtube guys also okay great uh that means it has been added okay guys uh, so these are the options which you can you know uh, utilize from the chat gpt so let me first show you what is the utility of this uh, you know microphone so whatever output chat gpt is generating if you don't want to read it line by line you can listen it okay so i'm repeating it again whatever outcome chat gpt is generating for example uh, like this so this is the outcome chat gpt is generating for one of the prompt if you don't want to read it line by line you can utilize this functionality of microphone just activate this one and you can actually listen what chat gpt is generating so to activate this one let me uh, you know generate the outcome what you can do just generate the outcome of any of the prompt and as soon as you are you know generating the outcome just activate this one by clicking this so as of now if you see there is a cross sign at this particular microphone right so that means it is in inactive state so the moment you 
click over there it will become activated okay so first of all generate the outcome and then activate this so let me do it i am regenerating the same uh, you know out, outcome uh, like this and then i will activate this so now actually I'm, i can listen i can actually listen what chat gpt is generating as the output probably you guys are not uh, you know getting the voice uh, but yeah you can try it urine and do let me know whether it is working or not just try it guys and do let me know whether it is working or not Is it working, guys? Yeah, great. What about rest of the guys? Is it working or not? Cool. So this is the utility of this particular microphone, right? Even you can also use this mic option to provide the prompt to this chat GPT. So as of now, what we are doing, we are just, you know, typing our prompts or whatever input queries we have here. And then we are passing this prompt to chat GPT and chat GPT is generating the outcome. But let's say I don't want to type the input query or I don't want to write the prompt. So just by activating this mic option, you can provide prompt as a voice input. So just see the example and then you can try it urine, right? So let's suppose, guys, I want to know, uh, okay, let me just, uh, you know, open a new chat session and I want to know uh, what is an AI, right? The simple thing, what is an AI? And I don't want to, you know, uh, type it in the chat box. So I, what I will do, I will just activate this one just by clicking this uh, once and then I will speak whatever I'm sp speaking, that is something will be written as a prompt here. So just see this one. Tell me what is an AI. Now you can see guys, and then I will just pass it. So without writing, actually, you can pass the prompt from voice. Right? This is the functionality of this uh, mic option. Is that clear, guys? You can try it, Yurin, and do let me know uh, whether this functionality is working or not. Is it working, guys? Cool. So these are the you know functionalities related to the voice control with respect to the chat GPT. Let me also show you uh, one you know another interesting uh, functionality of chat GPT. Uh, let me just see where we have this part.
Okay, guys. So let me share my screen. Uh, is it visible, guys? I hope this one is visible, right? Yeah. So let's see another uh, very interesting functionality uh, with chat GPT. Guys, we have an extension called YouTube summary with chat GPT and cloud, right? Just search this particular extension in Google. And here you will get the first link, just like a voice control extension. Here you will get the link, link for this particular extension called YouTube summary with chat GPT and cloud. Click over this first link. The extension name is a YouTube summary with chat GPT and cloud. Just click over the first link. You will be landed to this page where we have this extension. And since I have already added this extension, uh, you can follow the same steps what we have done for voice control extension and just add this particular extension to chat GPT. Right. Now, what is this extension all? So guys, this is the extension where you can get the summary of any YouTube video. So let's suppose you want to see a, a YouTube video and you, you don't want to, you know, uh, you know, uh, like just follow the YouTube uh, from starting to end. So what you can do, you can get the summary of that video in a text form. Since ChatGPT is generating text output only. So what ChatGPT will do, it will provide this summary in text form of the YouTube video, right? I think all of you guys have added uh, this extension. If you guys facing any issue, do let me know. So let me just show you uh, a demo. So after adding this extension, guys, do one thing, just refresh your ChatGPT page. Just refresh this ChatGPT page. And let me just show you a demo. As I told you, this is the extension which through which chat GPT can generate the summary of any YouTube video. Let me just show you. Uh, let's suppose guys, this is one of the YouTube video I have, right? So this is a YouTube video I have with respect to the relativity theory, right? And if you see guys, uh, just, you know, along with this video, we have a, this particular options available. And you are getting this option because you have added the extension. If you have not added the extension, you will not get this option called transcript and summary. So are you guys getting this option? Just open any of the YouTube video. Are you guys getting this option? Yes or no? Okay, so if you see guys in this option, if you just, you know, uh, press this down arrow, here you will get the transcript of this YouTube video. Guys, this is not the summary. This is the transcript. Transcript is nothing but whatever, you know, you are listening from this YouTube video that is being, you know, converted into the text form. And with the time, uh, like uh, at which particular time you are getting this particular, uh, you know, information. So that means this YouTube video has been started with these words and then at 36 seconds, we have these kind of things likewise. So this is a transcript of this YouTube video, but I don't want to go to, you know, all of this uh, transcript line by line. I want to know what is a summary of this YouTube video for that. Here you can see guys, uh, along with this transcript and summary, we have this particular icon. So this is the icon of the chat GPT, right? This is the chat GPT icon, whatever this, uh, you know, twisted circles you are seeing. So this twisted circle is nothing, but it is an option or, or, or icon of the chat GPT. So just click over this icon, just click over this icon and a new chat GPT page will get open where automatically it will create a summary of your YouTube video, right? So this is what uh, we have as the, uh, you know, YouTube video part. And after that, ChatGPT is generating the summary. And by default, you will get summary in five bullet points. This is by default. So here I'm getting the summary 
of this particular YouTube video in five bullet points. Is that clear, guys? This part? Any doubt or any queries with this one? Anyone? Okay, cool. And one more thing, guys. Uh, okay, yeah, great. One more thing, guys. You are getting the summary of this particular video just because there is a transcript available here. If for a video, this transcript is not there, you won't get the chat GPT summary. Right? So you will get summary only for those YouTube videos for which there is a transcript available. Okay. So this transcript is the input for the chat GPT, which is a text information. And using the text transcript data, it will generate the summary. And by default, for any of the video, it will provide the five bullet point summary. So once you get the summary, then you can tune this output as per your requirement. Right? So let's pause. Uh, I want to know a couple of more things. So let's say, uh, make it short. I don't want to read this long summary. I want to, you know, uh, get the idea in a short. So I can ask you to make it a short summary. So here we are getting a summary in a very short manner. So the five point summary in only just one single line, right? So all of the things are same, like how you can tune the output as per the requirement. But yeah, this is how you can get the summary of any of the YouTube video. Okay, so this is one thing. Okay, so if you guys have any doubt, uh, do let me know. <laughs> okay. And let me also show you one more thing. Yes. Cool guys, if you don't have any questions, that's great. Okay, so see here guys, let's let me show you one more uh you know uh functionality of chat GPT. That chat GPT can work as a language translator a language translator language translator right what is this language translator so language translator is nothing but guys so let's say here we have a language translator so what it will do it will take input which is in one language so let's say it is in french language or any other language and it will generate the output in another language let's say english or hindi or whatever is your language so this is something we are calling as language translation so where we have an input in one particular language and we want to transform this input in another language so chat gpt can also work as a language translator right so let me just open a new chat session so let's suppose, guys, I have a simple message like, hello, how are you in English language? And I want to translate in, into another language. So let's say I want to translate it into a Korean language. Right. So I have a sentence like, hello, how are you? This is my sentence. And for this sentence, I want to translate it into a Korean language. So this is also you can do with the chat GPT. Right now, see how intelligent chat GPT is. It is translating this particular sentence, hello, how are you, into Korean like this. But do let me know, guys, 
if you have only this output, can you guys read it? No, right? You can't read it because it is in Korean language. So along with this translation, chat GPT is providing the English, you know, a pronunciation kind of a thing of this Korean translated sentence. So how you can, you know, uh, read this particular Korean translation like this. So this is an English letter, uh, what you can say, pronunciation of this Korean language output. So that you can read what is written here. So you, you are getting this additional detail also. Right. So this is how you can use a chat GPT for, you know, language translation. Or let's say I want to translate into another language. Let's suppose uh, Japanese. Translate this into Japanese. <clears throat> so here we are getting the Japanese translation and how we can read this translation like this. Konishiwa Ogenki Deshuka. So this is what is written here. Right. So this is something this facility is, uh, uh, is called as a language translation. Okay. This is another, uh, you know, functionality of the chat CPT. Okay. So this is one part. Uh, apart from that, let me also see what we have. <laughs> okay. So... Let me also show you one more, you know, functionality of chat GPT. Now, apart from this, guys, uh, you can also use chat GPT to prepare the PPTs, right? PowerPoint presentation. So let's suppose uh, you want to prepare a PPT on a particular topic, right? And you want to do it uh, quickly. So that is something you can take help from chat GPT so that you can prepare a PPT in a very short span of time. Right? Just a minute. That is something also you can do it. Let me open a new chat session. And let's say I want to, you know, uh, get a content for a PPT on digital India. And here you can also specify how many slides you want. So let's say I want to prepare a 15 slide PPT or let me just make it more simple just to show you. Let's say I'm looking for a 10 slide PPT on a topic called Digital India. So let's see how chat GPT is generating the outcome. So this is how ChatGPT is generating the outcome like the outcome is uh, like slide by slide in the slide one we have a title slide like we need to provide the title and any subtitle and if you have any image related to digital India logo or what you can uh, you know uh, use that particular image in the slide one in the slide two it will be an introduction kind of a thing where you can do the you know uh, provide an introduction of the digital India initiative and you know, government visions about, uh, along with this particular domain. And likewise, we have a slide number three, vision and objective, slide number four, digital infrastructure kind of thing and all. So for each and every slide, we have a couple of, you know, content ready for that. So what you can do, you can just copy and paste this kind of uh, uh, things in a particular slide. Or let's suppose you are not uh, okay with, you know, the content or uh, let's say the content is not enough. So you can tune the output like, uh, make it more detailed one and let's suppose you want to include some examples also and include some real time examples right so let's see how it is being modifying the output now you can see guys, uh, we are getting a couple of more details for each and every slide as well as 
probably each and every, almost all the slides we are getting some kind of a examples also. Let me just show you once it is over. <laughs> Okay, so here you can see, guys. Uh, the first one is a title slide, right? A brief welcome note, those kind of things. So in the second slide, where we have an introduction part, now we have a, some real time examples. Like, so since we are dealing with the digital India initiative, so we have something called digital payments, right? Uh, UPI kind of thing, unified payment interface, digital wallets. In the second slide, where we have a vision and objective, we have a examples like you know direct benefit transfer, DBT. So this kind of a thing. And you can see almost for all the slides, we have a, at least one or two examples like BharatNet is there. You know, DigiLocker is another initiative with respect to the digital media by government, right? And this Pradhan Mantri Garmin uh, Digital Suraksha Abhiyan, all of these things we have as an example to these slides. So what you can do, you can just copy and paste this particular content to the respective slide, okay? So you won't get the PPT, uh, you know, PPT file here to download. You will only get the text information, right? That's why it is a sequence to sequence model. So the, the input is a sequence of words like this. And the output is also a sequence of words like this. Okay. So this is how you can uh, build a PPT in a very short span of time. Is that clear guys? Okay, cool. Uh, are you guys following all of these, uh, you know, points? Yeah, great. Let me also check with YouTube guys. Cool. So this is another, uh, you know, functionality of chat GPT, which you can utilize. And apart from that, let me also show you. <laughs> okay. So guys, this is what we have discussed, uh, like how you can utilize the chat GPT for social media, as well as from the business point of view. So we have already saw that how you can generate a reply of an email, right? Or uh, like how you can, uh, you know, build a resume or CV, or how you can utilize the chat GPT for, uh, you know, social media kind of thing, like uh, for Instagram blog or post, you know, so all of those things you can do. And apart from that, guys, you can also utilize the chat GPT from data perspective, right? From the data perspective, I mean, uh, you can, you know, analyze the data set or you can create a data set, a sample data set, and you can apply the things there. Even you can also generate the quotes from chat GPT, right? So what all things we do in data analytics or data science part with respect to data, all of those things you can do with the help of chat GPT. Okay. So uh, let me uh, show you that part also. Uh, just give me one minute guys so that I'll be prepared with uh, the things.
ओके गाइस सो लेट मी शेयर माय स्क्रीन आई होप माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू यू गाइस सो लेट्स सी गाइस हाउ यू कैन यूटिलाइज चैट जीपीटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डेटा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू राइट सो इफ यू वांट टू परफॉर्म एनी ऑफ द यू नो एक्टिविटी ओवर द डेटा पार्ट सो दैट इज समथिंग यू कैन डू विद द हेल्प ऑफ द चैट जीपीटी uh right let me just show you first of all couple of examples then i will show you uh more details right <clears throat> okay so let's pause guys for example i want to write a python code to clean a certain data set that contains the null values okay so let's say boss i have a data set where i have a null values in my data set and i want to clean this data set so that there won't be any null values so that is something you can do with the help of the uh, chat gpt let me just show you so see here so i have passed a prompt like uh, write a python code to clean the data set that contains the null values so here chat gpt is providing me the python code and if you see guys so it is the like it is a uh, like correct code uh, so if you have a null values so the method to deal with that is a drop any so that it will drop all the records which have the null values right so if you have a data set like df so just apply df dot drop any and you will get the cleaned data set right so what you can do you can just directly copy this code and paste it in your uh, whatever platform you are using or tool you are using so if you are using the jupyter notebook just copy it and paste it there and just run it so you will get the outcome let me also show you uh, i mean how you can run all of these things so just a minute guys hardly take a minute okay guys so let me share my screen uh i hope this my screen is visible right okay so let's suppose guys i have an a data set uh so here i am using a data set called sample plus 1 so this is something i have let me just show you yeah so guys this is a uh, one data set i have sample plus 1 uh, which is a csv file right and in this data set uh, okay let me just show you from here so let's suppose guys uh, i want to load this data set in python right a simple task i want to just read or load this csv file in the python so that is something i can do with the help of chat gpt like i can tell chat tell chat gpt like uh, i have a csv file 
name as so here i'm providing the name of my file the sample and this is the exact name what we have as a file name right sample plus oh sorry sample plus one so this is the name of my file which is a csv file so i have a csv file name as uh sample plus one and i want to read it in python uh provide me the code for the same so here i'm asking uh, chat gpt to provide me a python code so that i can read this file which is a csv file as a sample plus one okay so what i can do uh, so this is what i'm getting right and here chat gpt is providing uh, even if you don't have this pandas you know library so first install this one if it is already installed uh, since this library is uh, by default is there so no need to install it and you can directly import pandas as a pd and then provide the path of the file and you can use the read underscore csv method and within that just provide this file path which is nothing but this one and you can directly utilize this so let me just show you i'm just copying this code and pasting it in my python notebook or zip notebook right and instead of providing a path i can directly pass the uh, this file name since uh, this Jupyter notebook is in the same folder. So if you want, you can provide the path here or what you can do, you can mention the path in the prompt that you have a path like this where you have a, this file, right? So since in my case, uh, we have the data set and this Jupyter notebook in the same folder. So no need to provide the path. So what I'm doing here, I'm just, you know, copying this one directly over this. Or let me just do like this. And just remove this part. Okay. And just make it as a comment. So let me just run it and let's see whether it is working or not. So you can see here, guys, it's working. Right? So we are, you know, loading the data successfully with this code, which is provided by the chat GPT. And let's not, uh, you know, look at this head instead. Let's look at this complete data set. So let me, okay. So this is what we have as a data set. And let me just do it head off, let's say 10. So this is what we have as a data set guys. And this is the first 10 records I have, right? And in this, in this data set guys, you can see for the age column, we have two records which are missing. If you can see here, we have an NAN and here also we have an NAN. So NAN stands for the value is missing, right? So let's suppose I want to, you know, treat this missing information, you know, abnormality in my data set with the help of the uh, chat GPT. So I can tell chat GPT like, uh, so I can provide the accurate information that I have a column called age and within this column, I have a missing values so let me just do it uh, i have a variable as h this is the exact name of the variable which contains missing value right this is the context which i'm providing to chat gpt and then I'm, uh, I will be asked GPT what to do. Provide me, or let's say provide Python code, you know, to remove or to treat these missing values. Now see. So here it is providing a couple of options as per the need, you can select any of the approach, right? And all of these approaches are guys, uh, these are actually correct approaches. So in data science, if you have a missing values, 
you can fill either fill the missing value with the help of mean or median or even you can fill the missing value with the specific value if you have any one right let's say you want to you know replace all the missing values with zero or any other value that is something also you can do or you can also fill the values with forward or backward fill right so what are the forward and backward fill so forward and backward fills are nothing but so let's suppose you want to fill this value so forward fill is nothing but whatever is the next value the same value you will get here backward fill is nothing but whatever is the previous value the same value you will get here right so in that way we have a forward and backward fill even you can also use interpolation as a technique so it is one of the technique to impute the missing value and here we have a couple of methods like linear or polynomial or uh, we have a couple of more approaches so you can uh, you know uh, adopt any of the any one of the approaches and then even it is providing some additional details like you can use this line of a code to see after applying any of this approach if there is any missing value present or not right for the age column so this is the actual code how you can check whether there is any missing value present or not so before applying any of the approach let me just apply this line of a code over the age variable so that you can see whether there is any missing value present in the age column or not so let me just you know do it here and let me remove this print command so let's not print let's directly see the output so what is this particular line of code so for the age column it will print if there is any null values or the missing values present or not right so if i run this one you can see here guys for the age column there are two missing values and this is something this value and this value so for this age column we have a two missing values you can check with the help of this code so this additional details is also provided by ChatGPT. Now you can adopt any one of the approach, right? Let's suppose I want to impute the missing values with the help of forward or backward fill method, right? So what I can do, I can directly copy this code and paste it in the next cell. So this guy's uh, method F fill is, stands for a forward fill, right? If you want to do it with a backward fill, just put it here b fill b fill stands for the backward fill okay so let's do it with a forward fill and let me see the outcome so uh yeah so for backward fill it is also providing a code just uncomment it i mean the remove the hash sign and then you can use it right so for the time let's uh remove this part so let's go with the uh this uh you know forward fill method and so let me do it here and then let's check the df so now you can see guys uh we have the one missing value at index number five and then index number nine okay so after applying this particular approach now you can see guys at index number five we have the forward filled value which is the 22 right so this 22 is being forwarded to the next missing value and for index number nine, we have the 31. Initially, it was the missing. Now we have a forward fill by the previous value. So this value is forwarded to the next missing value as a 31. So I mean, uh, this kind of quotes you can easily get from the chat CPT, right? And it is giving you the correct code. Almost all of the time, it will provide you the correct code, but not 100%, uh, like 100% uh, time you will get the correct code so you can see here guys there is a one small message is written chat gpt can make mistakes right so that means not all the time you will get the correct code sometimes you will get uh like more accurate code and uh, you need to tune the code according to your need right so that will be there since these are very small things so that's why we are getting the 100 percent correct code but yeah for uh i mean for a specific purpose you will get the an idea like how the code will be looks like okay and you can use the code directly right is this part is clear guys how we are dealing data with chat gpt any doubt anyone
यस सुनो ग्रेट इवन यू कैन अप्लाई इवन यू कैन अप्लाई मोर ऑप्शंस यू नो मोर ऑपरेशंस यस मनो यू कैन डू ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स टू फिल्टर द रिकॉर्ड्स एंड यू नो टू डू ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट इज समथिंग यू कैन डू विद दैट सो बट लेट मी जस्ट शो यू कपल ऑफ मोर थिंग्स ओके सो so let's suppose guys uh with the same data set let's say i want to short this data set based upon let's say a uh, city column so in the city column we have the values which are the string or you can say a uh, character kind of a values right and i want to short this data set based upon this city column and let's say i don't know how to do this one in python right so that is something i can take help from chat gpt that i can provide a context to chat gpt i have a variable as uh, let me just see the correct name city city and you know to provide guys uh, actual variable name otherwise you know, you have to modify the code okay. have a variable as a city and based on its values please short the data set and you need to provide one more information what kind of a values the city variable contains so i have a variable as a city uh which contains let's say uh a string values so let's say which contains city names different city names so let's see how we can short my data set based upon a particular column let's say in this case it's a city so here i am getting the correct code how i can short my data set right so this is the code let me just copy it and run it here directly so now you can okay let me just you know remove this print command okay now here you can see guys this was my original uh, data set where i have a city names like new york then los angeles then san francisco chicago miami and so on if i short my data set based upon the city variable so how the shorting will be done based upon alphabetical order right so this is what i am getting here so first we have all the cities with the name starting with uh, you know uh, letter c and then uh, we have a h then l then m n then s so now we are getting this sorted data set based upon the city variable so i mean any kind of operation you can perform over the data set with the help of the chat gpt right so this is what i have showed you uh, you know couple of examples with respect to the python coding but it is not limited to only python you can generate a code in other languages also for example let's suppose i want to uh, you know uh, generate a code in sql let's say i want to generate a sql query so for example let's say this one create an sql code that will make first letter as a capital in let's say i have a two columns uh, first name and last name and i want to make uh, the first letter of these values will be in capital letter and i want a sql code for that so let me just copy this one and paste it here see <clears throat> this is what chat gpt is generating a sql code yeah so this is the sql code how you can convert uh the column first name and last name values a first letter of these values will be in uh you know uh upper case so this is the code since uh it is assuming that you have already you know 
lo uh, loaded or uh, you know selected this particular table so in that way it is just providing you the code but yeah you can get the code in any of the language right so this is another functionality of uh chat gpt even guys whatever code it is being generated here you can ask chat gpt to test this code over some sample data right to test this code over some sample data let me just show you so let's say guys uh we have a this code where uh this is a sql code which will convert uh the values of these columns like first name and last name the first letter in capital one so uh and i want to test this code with some sample data so i can ask chat gpt so please generate some sample data to test this code let's see so this is how chat gpt is generating uh, some sample records and over these records it is you know testing this particular i mean you can test this uh, this code over this test data right or you can uh, regenerate this one and let's see what changes we are getting yeah now you can see guys here we are getting the complete code so in the first part it is generating a customer table with three columns customer id first name and last name and these are the records the customer id 1 2 3 4 this is the first name this is the last name and what this code is doing the logic is it will convert this first name and last name uh, values or like the five whatever the first letter is there into a uppercase right so this is what we have a code and if you have a you know sql workbench you can directly copy this code and run it there it will work right so let me okay so guys uh attendance link is there in the chat box you can uh mark your attendance right build the form and mark your attendance so this is how uh, you know uh, you can utilize the chat gpt with respect to data part and it is not over yet we have a couple of more functionalities but yeah that means you can generate the code in any of the language either python or sql or some other languages right is that clear guys any doubt with this part anyone Uh, Kavya attendance, attendance link is there in the chat box. Please check your chat box. Channa has shared again. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So let me uh, check with YouTube guys also. Thank you, Kushi, for your appreciation. Thank you so much. Okay, so okay, so Monato, so what you can do uh, if you need uh, you know answer keys for MCQ, I don't know uh, whether they will provide or not, but what you can do, you can drop an mail to EDL, uh, whatever mail you have for EDL part, just drop an mail uh, and ask them to provide an MCQ answer uh, answers, right? So probably uh, those these guys can help you. Okay, let me just show you uh, another uh, functionality. Okay, so this is one part, guys, how you can uh, use ChatGPT with respect to data part. Apart from that, guys, you can provide even sample data to ChatGPT and you can ask ChatGPT to clean that data. All right. So guys, attendance link is there in the chat box. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, the same data set, whatever, uh, you know, we are dealing with, I'm going to provide to chat GPT. And since, as we guys know, chat GPT can, can take only text data as an input. That means uh, this chat GPT 3.5 cannot take any of the file uh, as an input, right? 
you can only provide the text data. So what I'm going to do, I will, uh, I have converted, I, I mean, I have just copy and pasted this data set from CSV into notepad. And from notepad, I'm just copy and pasting it into a, uh, this particular uh, input box, right? So let me just do that part. Okay. Uh, okay, guys. So I have, uh, you know, uh, copied this uh, data set into a notebook and from notebook I have again copied it and I'm going to paste it in the uh, chat GPT input box, right? And with this data set, guys, I want to know whether there is any abnormalities are there in this data set or not. This is, this is what I'm looking for. So I can ask chat GPT, uh, is there any abnormalities present with below data, right? And what is the data? So here I'm, uh, you know, pasting my data set and this is the exact data set what we have just saw in Python. Since uh, the chat GPT 3.5, the free version cannot accept any kind of a input file format. So it can only uh, take an input in a text form. So that's why I have copied this data set from CSV file into a notepad. And from there, I have again copy and pasted it in this input box, right? And I'm asking chat GPT, please look at this data set. And then uh, do let me know whether there is any abnormalities present or not. So let's see how chat GPT is responding to me. Okay, so this is what I'm getting uh, the details from the chat GPT. Okay, cool. So guys, uh, chat GPT is analyzing this text data set. And this is what chat GPT is telling me. There are few abnormalities are there. And what are those abnormalities? So first one is a inconsistent city and state names, right? So you can see here, guys, even in your data set, uh, for the first record, we have a city name as New York, but what is the actual name? It's a New York. So it should be a New York, but the present name is a New York. So that is one abnormality is there. So this is what is being identified by chat GPT that uh, it is showing, uh, for example, there is a New York and NY in the first row, right? So in this way, it is showing a couple of abnormalities, uh, you know, uh, that, that inconsistent city and state names, and then they're showing missing values in the email column. So it, it is showing there are two email address which were missing. So this is what uh, we have saw in the original data set also. So if you see here, uh, this is one of the email ID, which is missing, right? So this is also correct. And then you can see here, guys, uh, it is also detecting some duplicate records. So it is saying uh, ID number 11 is a duplicate record. So let's check whether it is duplicated or not. Yeah. So here, if you can see, guys, after record number 10, we have a two records with the same ID 11 and records are exactly same. So that means we have a two rows which are duplicated. So this is what it is being identified by chat GPT. Even it is also saying there is an inconsistent address format and there is a typo error in Miami, right? So it is uh, like uh, written as Miami, but it should be a Miami. So all of those things we are just identifying with the help of chat GPT. Even it is providing you the modified or correct data set. So whatever abnormalities are being identified here, these abnormalities are removed uh, by chat GPT. And here it is providing you the correct data set. Like here you can see for the first record, we have a correct city name as a New York. 
we have a correct city name as Miami, right? So in that way, it is providing you the correct city name and it will remove all the abnormalities. Right? Now in the mail part, we also have, uh, you know, whatever the missing mails will be there based upon the pattern present for rest of the mails, it is identifying and it is generating the mail ID also. So this is what uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, with this chat GPT part with respect to data. So any, any questions, guys, anyone up to this part? Are you guys getting uh, how ChatGPT is dealing with the data set? Cool. And with this, guys, uh, uh, please note that do not provide client data set or sensitive data set to ChatGPT. Okay, so there is a, some privacy and security concern is there. We don't know whether this data is being saved or not. So please do not provide any sensitive or client data set to the chat GPT. Always work on the sample data set. Okay, so please care, uh, take care of this particular thing also. So this is uh, what we have uh, with respect to you know, data set part, even, uh, let me also check. Okay. So we have a couple of more things, but, uh, that is something I will do in tomorrow's session. Okay. And, uh, let me, okay. Let me also show you a couple of more things. Very smart, a uh, small part. <laughs> okay. So if you see guys, uh, this is what chat GPT is, uh, you know, removing the abnormalities in this data set. And after removing the abnormalities, this is what we are getting the clean data set. So in this data set, guys, you can see we have the uh, variables as ID, name, age, address, city, state, and email ID. So if you guys see this state column, so here we have a you know, abbreviation for this state name. So let's say I want to know what is the complete or full name of the states. Instead of abbreviations, I want to know the full name. That is also I can do with the help of chat GPT that I can ask chat GPT that replace all the abbreviation with their full names. So whatever abbreviation has been used in this data set that all the abbreviation have been removed and will replace with its full names. So this is what uh, we are getting, right? So instead of having the abbreviation for this state names, now we have a full names. Okay. This is also you can do with chat GPT. Even if you want to create a new column, that is also you can do, right? So let's say uh, instead of name, I want to split this column into two new columns as the first name and last name. So let's check whether ChatGPT is able to perform this task or not. So split the name variable into two new variables as first name and last name. So let's check whether ChatGPT is able to perform this task or not. Yeah, so ChatGPT is, you know, doing this particular task and it is correct, right? So we have a first name as John, oh, sorry, uh, we have a name as John Smith. So if you split this one as a first name and last name, so what we'll get John as a first name, Smith as a second name. 
for the same for the second record jane will uh, that will be the first name do will be the second name right so this is what chat gpt is doing so it is splitting uh, the name variable into two new variables like first name and last name and this is what we have a data for these variables right so you can also perform this activity in python so it is also providing some python code for that so in this way guys uh, you can use chat gpt for uh, data part so you can perform different activities with the data set even you can build a model also so that is something we will do uh, in tomorrow's session we will see how you can you know uh, build machine learning or deep learning based model or you can apply any advanced technique to the data set right or even you can do the visualization also so all of those things i will show you in tomorrow's session so this is what we have for today's session guys uh, any questions guys with this part anyone Okay, cool. So if you don't have any questions over to uh, Channa, so uh, if you have any questions related to X, uh, like uh, LMS portal or material sub updation, so you can connect uh, with Channa, she can reply. Yes, Rikas, thank you. Guys, hope you enjoy the session. Is there any query for me? Please let me know in the chat box and I'm sharing the attendance link in the chat box. Please mark your attendance. And Sumona asked me regarding assessment. Yeah, we'll upload tomorrow that assessment and answers as well in the LMS, okay? Yes, welcome. Yes, Simona, if you have, uh, if you don't have any doubts, means you can leave. Tejas, you're asking about the attendance link or is there any different link? And somebody asked uh, regarding a registration link, right? For Python programming or what? I'm sharing that registration link as well. Who needs that, please take from the chat box. I think there is no more questions. So we are done with the day. We'll wind up the session and we'll meet on tomorrow, same time, same place. Up to then, take care. Everybody, good night.